Hey guys! Oh my gosh! Some of y'all are here already. I think that is only the second time that has happened. Hey! Um, I know what y'all are all here for, but I have a couple things that I have to say first, so bear with me. Oh, Naomi, I'm so glad you're here because... Um, oh, actually, let's say this first. Welcome to Artistic License. This is my stream that we do on Thursdays. Uh, every Thursday at around 6.30ish we start. And uh, this is, we, we just do whatever I want. It's a variety, right? So, okay. So the first thing that I wanted to point out is, oh, oh my gosh, thank you so much for the subscription. Um, Tico, Erica, uh, see, speak up in the chat, whoever you are. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. So the first thing I wanted to point out is, y'all might notice something new in my background. What's this? Oh, what's this? It's a postcard, beautifully colored. From my dear friend Naomi. So I just want to show off for just a second her Instagram right here. Now, Naomi, I know you haven't kept this super updated lately, but don't worry. I have faith that she's coming back to update it more. And if y'all have an Instagram, y'all should all be following her because she posts some absolutely beautiful colorings that she does right here. So I'm just going to scroll down. so We can just like enjoy the vibes here for a second. Just look at this. It's freaking beautiful. Freaking beautiful. I love this. She does a really good job coloring, and I have to tell you guys that in real life, it's so much more rich and vibrant than it looks in these pictures. Like, it's just, it's even better. It's even better, right? So that's Naomi.colors. You can see it right here. And she spells it with the, the U, right? Because um, she's from the UK. So there we go. There's the link. Y'all go follow her. Okay. I'm going to switch back for a second. So I have to log out. I'm just doing this while I remember. I have to log out of Discord and log back, log into the other account. Um, we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about yesterday's episode of Spare Room in one second, but I just don't want to forget to do this. Okay. And bear with me a second. Oh yeah, of course, Naomi. You know I love your your coloring Instagram. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right. So let's, oh my gosh, me too. <laughs> and it did come like really, <laughs> really like epically wrapped up. I was very impressed <laughs> with the hardcore wrapping. Um, it was, it was, uh, it was good. It I was like, oh, how do I get into this? But I figured it out. <laughs> okay. So let's talk just a little bit about um the episode that went up yesterday for spare room so we had uh people keep leaving my role play which this video uh, a lot of y'all clicked on it did really really well so i guess this is really a feeling that a lot of you have um this one unlike the competition video this is definitely something that i have felt and i have struggled with um so it's the video is kind of in two parts right it's in two parts where the first part is really about how do you actually handle attrition in your in your role play with people leaving and then the other part is how to get over it when people leave because no matter what you do you can't stop all attrition right so i think that this attitude of trying to stop all of the attrition or figure out why all of the attrition happened can be really harmful to good Role play. Oh no, Mochi, I'm so sorry. Maybe um maybe refresh, refresh the stream and uh and see if that helps with the connection. So this is why I made this video, because it's one of those things that I just think that if you focus too much on it, it can be really harmful. So that's that's the point of the video. I know what y'all are here for, so I'm not gonna dwell on this too much, but I did just want to say that really briefly. Thank you for everyone for clicking on it. I, I know um that you guys must have really liked this video. Oh, and I see some of your comments. Um yeah, thank you so much, Kendra. I liked making this episode. It was fun. Okay. <gasps> hey, Landon, I'm so glad you could join us. Okay. All right, sweet. Welcome to the panic room. <laughs> okay, well, so, are you ready? Are you ready to endure more of my singing? Oh, no, you're in class. Oh, it sucks. Okay, well, y'all in the chat will have to keep Landon updated. Okay, so. Uh, Discord. Okay, so here's how this is going to work, y'all. I'm going to make the Discord server. 
for the next role play and this is a chance for me to update old videos that I did uh, for creating Discord servers because those videos are like a year old now and they still are very highly viewed, but things have changed, right? So I want a chance to update those. And then the other thing is that I know you guys that are in my current role play are really interested in what we're going to do next. So we're streaming this, right? So twofold kind of purpose. So here's what you guys can do. Down at the bottom of the chat, there's spell reagents. You can, there's one of the spell reagent options that you can spend to ask me a question about this role play. And if you ask it using that, I have to answer. Now y'all might not like my answer, okay? This, we're gonna, this is gonna be a little bit, I'm gonna be a little bit of a genie here in the way that I answer these questions. I'm not gonna lie, right? Cause I'm not gonna give away too much. And the reason why I'm not gonna give away too much is because nobody's looked at the plot or anything yet. And y'all won't see the plot tonight either. But um, things could change, like things could change, right? Whenever the mods take a look at it. And then after the mods take a look at it, the current players in my current role play take a look at it. Like they could find things where I've done stuff that's that's wrong right um i'll give you an example like when i created magic reborn i wanted it to be <laughs> i wanted it to be all women and have this totally other system of how gender worked <laughs> and my rods were, my mods rightly pointed out that that was silly and that people would not join if they were not allowed to make <laughs> characters with penises so <laughs> i don't know what exactly will change with what i've built so far so i hope that all makes sense all right Let's get to making the server. So here is, yeah, Naomi, that really happened. Naomi's the one that had to tell me. Naomi's the one that had to tell me that, Karen, people aren't going to be happy if penis is not an option. <laughs> Blew my mind, but she was right. Okay, anyway, here's what we're going to do first. First thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this voice channel because we don't need that. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye voice channel. Okay, and then we're gonna set up our roles. So let's go into our server settings. Let's go into our roles. And I gotta adjust the everyone role. So we don't want everyone being able to do a lot of this stuff. Everyone shouldn't be able to send messages. No, no, no. Why is this on for everyone by default? I don't understand. They can't do that, but they can. Okay, none of that. Use the voice. No. Okay. So, oh, hey, Cass, welcome back. Um, one of my favorite YouTube channels just made a song about Freya's lore. Oh, oh, wow. That's really cool. Okay. So what I've got here on my phone is I'm, I'm pulling up Atlantis, like the settings for the old role play um, so that I can see exactly what I did. So I duplicate it. Right. So that's why y'all see me messing on my phone here. Oh my gosh, the chat's actually going so fast that I can't read all y'all's messages. <laughs> I'm seeing your guesses. Um, wow. Okay, y'all are really excited. Don't forget you can use your you can use your spell reagents to um to ask me specifically what y'all want to ask me. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna pretend I'm just gonna pretend like your questions and stuff are just like y'all playing around and you don't necessarily want an answer. Um, okay. So we're doing roles first, so I'm just opening up the roles for Atlantis to see exactly how I set them up. I got a break off. So just to let you, let you know, Thumper, most of this really is going to be about like setting up the server. So there's only so much that you're going to see. So I'm not going to show the plot or anything like that, right? Because as I said, no one else has seen it, which means it's not finalized because my ideas aren't always good when I first come up with them. Let's be real. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, I should do this the other direction, I think, because that's the way it's going to do it. Okay. Verified. I don't think this role has any actual permissions on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is going to be an 18 plus role play, so we are going to have 
some um, underage versus 18 plus roles. So really all I'm doing right now is creating all the different roles and putting them in order. And then I guess we will go through and um, actually set up the permissions. Verified. We need an 18 plus role. We're gonna use all of these in a little bit. Erica? Um, well, what I want to ask is for you to talk about when a server is ready for public launch. Oh, okay. Yeah, Erica, I don't know who you are. You'll have to reveal. You have to reveal who you are so we can know you. Um, I, I really don't launch servers until they are ready for applications, right? Until a server is ready to actually take applications and has like a date that they are planning on opening, I don't think you should launch it, right? Now, I know why some people launch it beforehand. They launch it beforehand because they, they don't feel like they have anybody they can ask for help. But luckily, I have all of you guys. <laughs> So I have all of you guys, and um, and I definitely will ask you guys for help. So there is just, you know, I, there's no need for me as far as that goes. Okay, so these next roles that we're going to set up, just going back to my notes on this, then these next roles that we're going to set up are going to be our color roles, because as you know, everything has to be aesthetic for me. So here's our color roles. And I like to do these custom colors. So I don't use the default Discord colors because I think they're just, they're really bright. So I'm not, I'm not into it. Oh, I wasn't even typing that whole time. Okay. There we go. Six. All right. I think that's too bright. Oh, no, that's the background. That's not what I want to do. Reset. Yeah, something's wrong there. I think I might have grabbed the wrong hex codes for the colors. Might have to fix that. Okay, well, we'll just create the roles and I'll grab the colors later. It's the same colors that I use in the cafe. Um, Erica, Erica, Belle or Lilith? Are you Erica? Are you Belle or Lilith? Are we still guessing? Are we trying to guess who um, Erica is? Lilith. Oh, hey, hey, Lilith. Um, Lilith, for y'all that don't know, is in my current role play. So of course that means that um, for all of you guys that are in the current role play. You guys are going to get invited to this, um, hopefully not too much longer, maybe another week or, or so. It depends on a few other things that we have to get set up as like kind of the, the mod team slash people who tend to help me set up role plays. Because I want to make sure there's enough stuff in there for you guys so that you can effectively add to it. Yeah, I definitely grabbed the wrong hex codes here, I'm pretty sure. Oops. That's okay. We can fix it. Later. This is not a big deal. Don't worry, everyone. I'll make sure there's peanuts. Thank you, Naomi. <laughs> so dumb. Like, I have, sometimes I have, like, these ideas where I'm thinking, like, I want to stretch myself. And then it's just not realistic. It's just like, why, Karen, why? That's not a stretch. That's just like a bad idea. Okay, so there's the color rolls. Okay, going back into Atlantis to take a look at what other roles I like to set up. There's no need to memorize this stuff, right, when it's all right here. Okay, looks like we have our next thing. So these, in addition to the color roles, I have a lot of other reaction roles that I do. So like people can set their time zones and things like that. So that's what I'm going to add in next. I want to do. 
now. I'm doing this all backwards, y'all. This goes at the bottom. What is this blank roll? Oh, that was the one I was working on. Okay. Let's go. Oh! Did someone just follow? Who just followed? Erica! Oh, thank you for the follow, Erica! Now you will get notified whenever I go live. Okay, I'm just going to start at the top. We're going to do this. I started this backwards. Okay, and then we'll adjust it all. Admin, mod, veteran, number. All coming back to me, Melanie. Jane, that has been your guest for so long. I very much admire your dedication to the Moon Colony guests. Thoughts? Okay, there we go. Now we're down to the reaction rules again. Pronouns. So this is for out of character pronouns. Um, I think it's important, like, because we're online, we don't know who is who. Um, and I'm somebody that tends to, because I came from role playing on Tumblr and before that, role playing on Live Journal and all of that stuff. Um, I think it's important to put that in there. Because if you don't tell me your pronouns, I'm just going to assume it's she, her, you know? Oh. Kendra, did you redeem a question? You just wait, Karen, you'll be halfway through making it and then boom, moon colony it is. <laughs> Jane, you're so dedicated. <laughs> okay. Yours would be living his best life in a legit... Okay, oh. Um, highlight my message. Oh, Naomi, instead of highlight my message, you need to use the one that's the, uh, that's the uh, answer question. Um... Oh, I see. Okay, I see your question now, Kendra. Which part of the pandemic influenced the plot? Ooh, oh, that's a good question. Oh, that's a good question. What part of the pandemic influenced the plot? I would say um, the part where I was scared of it. That's my answer to that. The part where I was scared of the pandemic. Good question. Okay. So y'all can redeem those every 15 minutes, right? So Kendra has to wait another 15 minutes before she can redeem it again, but um, someone else can, can do one of those. And I'm just copying these time zones exactly from the other role play. Okay. Oh, y'all messages. Y'all's messages are cracking me up. Okay. I think it's just saying that that's a typo because it's all lowercase. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, y'all are giving me such life. <laughs> okay, so I'm almost done adding in these roles, and then we'll actually set them up. Or setting up a server is like the tedious part. This is the other. This is the other secret, right? About why I'm doing this on stream. It's so tedious, y'all. It's so tedious. So thank you for being here to entertain me while I set this up. Did I do these all the same? Yeah. Oh, no. I started adding in a space in randomly. Oops. Okay. Let's fix that. Three. Okay. <laughs> Uh. So, essentially, what I'm learning here is we always have to do this when it's time for a new RP going forward. Um, we always have to do this as a stream. 
Ah. Uh, <laughs> Thumper says yes, absolutely. Okay, so Central Europe is UTC one. So Greenwich C so one. I don't think that's yeah, there's not a T. Okay. You'll send me another question. Send me another question. Someone that has um has one. Although Kendra's first question was pretty amazing. Go through. Okay. Oh no, Naomi, you don't have enough points. I'm so sorry. The way that the points work is like by coming to the stream and participating and stuff like that. So those of you that have been to a bunch of streams will um, will have a lot more points than other people. See where did I stop? Amazon. Let's see or. Five. Um, y'all give me one second. Sorry, the the dog was in here asleep. She wants out. Go. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh oh, Thumper, you saved up a lot of points. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay where did i stop did i do eastern okay Sorry. central america Let's see so looks yes all that stuff. Thank you, um, Jojo, for teaching them about the points. America. That's the minus oh seven. Almost done, y'all. Almost done. For our West Coast people, who it's not actually that late for. <laughs> Time zone. Oh, one more. <clears throat> I love that y'all are strategizing about exactly how you want to use <laughs> your points. Um, that's wonderful. Okay, let's move all these babies up here. I think. Let's go towards the top. Uh, bots goes under member. Oh, I didn't. Did I not add member? Where is it? No, I did. He's down here. So admin. Odd. Veteran, member, got bots, and we've got character list. Okay, soon I will show you guys how we use all of these fancy roles. Solved. Didn't accidentally mess. After the time zone finishes, I'll mark my request is finished. Are you okay with that, Karen? Oh, um, what request? Did I miss one? I mean, as soon as I answer the question, you can you can mark them as finished, Marina. I thought I, I thought I only had the one question from Kendra, which I answered. Sorry if I missed something in the chat. Um, I'm used to the chat all doing like basically nothing, <laughs> but y'all are actually talking a lot. So I'm a little bit like, I'm a little bit like surprised. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, Jane, y'all strategizing hard about those questions. <laughs> oh my gosh. Am I going to regret this? <laughs> Am I going to regret this? Colors, these are going to be our colors. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Erica, for using your prime for me. I love that. It's kind of like, um, you know, a moment where you get to stick it to Jeff Bezos, right? Gonna use your your uh, your prime sub for good. Guess who's gonna get more points now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, and then it goes this one, this one, this one, this one, um, and then this one. And it's just the list of characters, which of course we don't have any characters yet. Okay, let's go back and actually look at the permissions. Alrighty, and Bezos gets no cut. Yeah, true. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Does anyone have the F Bezos song yet? No, I don't think so. I don't think so, Thumper. Okay, let's see what we've got so far. All right, so admin, of course, we want that to be... I want to turn on all of these things for the admin. Pretty sure. I don't think like anything's turned off except for those two things at the top. Everything goes on for the admin. We don't use voice chats, so we don't need any of that. Okay. Oh my god, I got the first badge, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just got um, affiliate kind of recently. So um, yeah, it's still like a founding a founding member thing. Um, it was just like a month ago. Like I think um, Lunar so far is the only one that's gone two months of subbing. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty recent. Um, mine says four more minutes. Okay. You got four more minutes to get more points, Thumper, or or four more minutes until the 15 is up and you guys can ask another question. Is that what that means? This is the first time I'm using a custom one of these, by the way. So this is also kind of like a test run to see how it goes. Oh, so it does it 15 minutes for the whole group? I thought it might do 15 minutes per person, but I guess it does it 15 minutes for everyone. Because I set, I set the cooldown to, to 15 minutes on it. It's for everyone. Oh, okay. The name generator, we use that currently in interstage window in those streams on Saturdays, um, if y'all want to name one of the pinatas. So um, I don't really have anything on this stream to name generate, but if you come to the Saturday stream and you use it, then, um, then you can name one of the pinatas. I have a feed my cats treats redemption set once per stream. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So people don't just have you treat the cats over and over. Oh my gosh, Eric, I'll have to check out your stream. I didn't realize you had one. I'm so sorry. Um, we'll have to we'll have to fix that. Okay, so for this one, I have to put that on. No, I guess veteran didn't have anything special. Oh no, it does have a few things. They have to turn on send messages and all of this lovely stuff. The external emojis. Okay. Member. I think members set up exactly the same way. Let me go check. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so nothing under general. And yeah, it's all those same text permissions. They can send messages, use external emoji. What did I do? I think bots is just, I just set that up for group. Yeah, bots is just for grouping. This is for grouping. Let's see. I don't think there's anything actually set on any of these others. Pretty sure. 
Okay, so that is all the roles that I set up. Some of these are going to be managed by bots and other things. Um, okay, I just went and grabbed the correct colors. So I'd written down the wrong ones, but here's the right one. What, how do you say that? Cur cursor beat? Cursor beat? Oh. Yeah. Um, at least you'll have some reduced salary. A little bit jealous from that, but uh, but yeah, I definitely can't live on re reduced salary forever. Um, when I had gotten laid off, like this was so long ago now, but when I had gotten laid off, uh, that's basically, you know, unemployment is, is basically that. Like you, you get just a little bit of money. It was very, very hard. Herzarbeit? 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't really know German, so I don't really, I can't really do a good German accent, but hopefully that's close. So these are all the colors that you guys are used to seeing. And we're going to do this just like before. Oh, I got it. Oh, yay. For Zarbite. Okay, well, close enough. I'm sure I have a really uh, strong accent with that, but... <laughs> Karen learns new foreign words once too much time. I, I love other languages, y'all. So this is something that I'm really passionate about. Okay. While I'm setting these last colors, I want to just say a couple things. Oh, wait. Well, let's wait because Thumper, Thumper redeemed. So what question do y'all have? Delete orange from the server. Shut up, Landon. We're not deleting orange from the server. Okay. Tell me the question time and, and then I'll go into like um, what I was going to say. Okay. Question time. What's the question? <clears throat> I'm so surprised all of my German friends showed up when it's like super late for you guys. Um, <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay. What three words would you use to summarize the genre major plot elements of the role play? Okay. First word, space. Uh, that's the first word because it was probably super obvious, right? Y'all saw the space pictures. You know that already. Okay. Um, next word that I would use to describe this role play is magic. Okay. So we've got space and we have got magic. Let me think of a good third word that explains the role play, like really encapsulates what I'm trying to do here. And also doesn't like give too much away for you guys because I still want it to be a little bit of a fun surprise, right? Okay, so we've got space, and we've got magic. Mm, I think the other word would be chaos. So those are definitely three words that guided the decisions that I made when setting up the various things in this role play so far in hammering out the plot to what I wanted it to be. Oh, okay. So I guess I did good, because <laughs> y'all seem excited for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, chaos. Chaos. That's, um, that's one of the, the driving concepts for this role play, for sure. Okay, so while I'm finishing this up, and y'all are kind of reeling from that. <laughs> oh, hey, Winnie, so glad you could make it. Okay, so I want to talk just a little bit about um, what happened in the last role play. So towards the end there, towards the last several months, it was probably pretty obvious to the people that were in the role play, but I super lost interest. Um, why did this happen? I've done a lot of soul searching to try to figure out why I lost interest in this RP so quickly compared to other role plays that I've done, and I think I figured it out. Something that I did not do with this role play, and I didn't realize how crucial this was to my process, is I did not set up any sort of system for events, right? So like in Magic Reborn, we had every six weeks or so, we had like a holiday that came up, right? And I didn't do anything like that for this role play. So that was a huge mistake 
that I made and something that I'm going to endeavor to fix this next time. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like because, of course, I've not gotten the plot finalized. But I promise you we will have an actual event structure where at regular intervals we will have specific events. So that is a promise I am making to you guys as my players in this in this role play. All right. All right, so what we're going to do next, now that we made all of our roles, we're going to make the different categories that we're going to need. So we're going to create a admin no, mods. We're going to create a mods category. It's going to be a private category, and it's going to be for admins, mods, bots. That's who's going to have access to that one. Um, okay. Then we need the getting started category. And the reason why I do this, um, I explained it in, of course, the original set of vids that I set up for this, that the reason why I do this is because then I can just add the stuff underneath that particular category, right? That one's just a literal, that's for everybody. Oh, I meant to hit category. Getting started. Uh, thank you, Naomi. You know, I always want to try to do a little bit better. Each time we make a role play, I want to try to get do a little bit better or stretch myself or something like that. You know what I mean? That's always That's always kind of like my goal. I feel like it was imperative that I figure out why I lost interest so quickly. And I think that's why. Because what's really the most fun to me <laughs> about role play is the world building. And if I don't have some event structure where I'm setting up events, then I'm just not going to care in the same way because I'm not doing that world building. So that's, that's the deal. That's the deal. Okay. I'm pretty sure with this one, have it set so that verified people can't type in it. Yeah. So need to that. And then I'm pretty sure that the mods and admins, of course, can still send messages. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Just double checking for those other categories that I made that I did them the way that I wanted to, that I didn't um, accidentally do something that's not what I intended. Okay, this all looks correct. If there's any mistakes that I make during this stream, I'll write about them down in the description of the video on, that goes up on YouTube. Okay, next one is announcement. What was the main thing that doomed Atlantis? Was it the separate factions preventing some character interactions or a drop-off in activity of the key glue players? I think it was a drop-off of activity, which is on me. Right? Like, I mean, I, I start that. Um, I think that's what killed it. You know? Okay, so for the announcements, it's not a private category. I don't I think we have it. Oh, no, we do have it set up so only verified can read. Okay, so I'm going to delete that and redo it as a private. Announcements. Admin, mod, and verified, just like I did that other. Go. Then I need to edit so that verified can't. Verified's in read only. There we go. 
I think we all kind of did that together. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, even if the thing is, though, is that I'm the leader, right? So when it's something like that, when it's something like activity drop off, like it doesn't really matter. It's on me like that's on me to fix that. You know what I mean? So so it doesn't really like if you want to take some ownership of that, I think that's fine. But it's not really on you guys, right? Like that is on me. So the second apostrophe is making my eye twitch. Oh, where did I fuck up the apostrophe? I'll have I'll go back and look after I get out of the screen. Um, that was not an intention. Where did I fuck up the apostrophe? Ah, oh, in the server name. Thank you. Like, where is it? Freya's Voyages. It's just supposed to be Freya's Voyages. <sighs> okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, if everyone will have magic or if only some will. Oh, I see. Okay, what about MR? Naomi, what's your question in, in reference to what about, what about MR in what regard? I feel like in Magic Reborn, we got to the end of the plot. It's just that after we did that, we didn't really feel like doing another plot, is the truth. And so, um, you know, we didn't. It's me, I'm the fuck up. Oh my god, Kendra, be quiet. Okay, so next we're going to do like a little separator. So I'm going to put some emojis in this, but I don't know what emoji I, I want to use yet. Actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go get that Saturn. What I'm doing um, to get emojis into this screen is I'm copying them from the that emo an Emojipedia website. Yeah, that's what I've been using so far. I don't know if that's what I'm going to continue to use for the emoji for this role play, but that's what we're going to use for right now. So this is just a separator. So this is role play channels. This is definitely a private category. Members only. All right, and then let's go ahead and set up some of the categories. So this will be, this is another little clue for you guys. Okay, this is another little um, Some of the categories of different locations that we might have. Now, I, didn't, I haven't made any locations yet, right? I haven't made any locations. Those, that's something that um, typically my mods and typically like veteran players will create a bunch of locations, but I'm going to go ahead and create some categories of locations that I know we're going to end up having. Okay. I made a list of these, so I'm just pulling it up. Okay, so we are going to category. I think that's how you spell that. That might be spelled wrong. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't spell. I know. I role play and I can't spell. <laughs> but it is how it is. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, Lulu. Oh, I miss Lulu. You know, I miss Lulu so much. Yeah, you do have to have an approved character to read the role plays. That is how I do it. It's because we're skittish from our Tumblr days and weird anons that we got and that I had to deal with. So, you know. Uh, I'm not saying I don't think that that's necessarily a problem on discord, but it's it makes us comfortable. So that's what we do it. Among us with witches. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? Uh, that does encapsulate uh, space magic and chaos, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> uh, Y'all crack me up. Y'all get to meet Victor. Yeah, um, we are definitely going to try to do Victor and Aaron, which is a ship that Naomi and I did, like, briefly. And we never really got to fully develop. But we keep trying. So we're going to try to do them in this role play. Uh, because I want to I want to develop Aaron. I'm feeling the urge to do that. I'm feeling the urge to develop Aaron. She's like, she's like a nice girl, right? She's kind of soft a little bit. But I never really got to play her enough to super differentiate her from Abby. She was supposed to kind of be like a nice version of Abby, but like she needs to be more than that, you know? I never really got to develop that.
I want to bring back Arthur and Leone. You know, I miss Leone so much, Jane. Like, <laughs> it was love at first brain lick. <laughs> That's how it was <laughs> with me and my feelings about her. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. Okay, so we've got all of our categories set up. So these are going to be the role play channels. Of course, since we don't have specific locations yet, that's all we're going to do here. But I am going to go and set up some other things right now. So let's take a look at, I'm just looking at the permissions that I use for the general chat. I think what we're going to do is just make it again so I can do it like this because it's that one's going to be this yeah we'll just delete you and edit this so this is our general chat and then oh 15 minutes is over y'all can ask another question This is going to be, once again, a member only. We are going to... Where is the thing that I can turn on? Is there a button? Yeah, there we go. There you go. So now you don't get smacked in the face <laughs> with not safe for work stuff. Salt chat. Contact the mods. Go. Did I? I don't think I did this right. I don't think I did so. Let's redo it. I don't think I hit private. There we go. In my... Okay, polls and discussion. I don't think that one should be members only now that I'm thinking about it. Let me the permission. Yeah, so this one you only need to be verified to talk in it. Get rid of that. contact mods okay just have to be verified because we want people to ask questions regardless of whether they've joined the role play or not they're going to have questions when they're in the app process okay so that all looks good so that's my channels here um see something i have don't have a description on general chat. I guess we don't really need one. We have a description on the not safe for work chat. I don't think so. I think the salt. And when we have a description. Nope. They'll have done good if I haven't felt the need to add descriptions to these in Atlanta. I guess the title is plenty. So those are all good. So those are all of our basic chats that we're going to use, right? Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, question. Which character from Atlantis would best fit the new story? Oh, what character from Atlantis would best fit the new story? Hmm. I, I lean... I'm trying to figure out if I should say a character or a particular species. She answers the question if she gets the hose again. <laughs> Come at me, Kendra. Okay, so I feel like I feel like a character that would be a really good fit for this particular role play 
would have to be um shoot, let me just double check let me double check something hang on hang on uh thank you kendra i will do that in a second okay one second guys one second i am double checking something before i speak up i don't want to misspeak okay yes a good character i think for this would be our um our favorite pixie adra I think Adrilai would be a really cool character to have in this role play. Final answer. She's going to the profiles. Yes, I was going to the profiles to double check. <laughs> I want aliens. <laughs> oh, Thumper. I love you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's hydrate. You know, she's probably hanging out with, like, her real-life friends tonight or something like that, you know? So that's probably where she is. Okay, let's add some channels to this. To the mods category, we need a mod chat. We need a log for Zira, because we're going to add that bot. We need a place for me to test, test things. And then we need image dump for character banners and images and things like that. Space Tycoon roller coaster. <laughs> uh, Kendra. Oh my gosh, all of y'all's all of y'all's like musings are um super, super hilarious to me. Okay, so getting started. What did I set up for this? Okay, I think this is yeah, the way this category is everyone can just access it. Um, which that's fine. What we need to do first is set up the age verification. Age verification. Can we ask if there will be aliens? <laughs> um, do you want to use that for your next, do you want to use that for your next question? I mean, you can use it for your next question. I would definitely answer that. I'm curious how I see it set up the age verification. Yeah, that's a bot mostly that does that. You guys will see. Um, but the way that this channel is going to work is as read only. So I need to go to the permissions and make it so that you can read but not send messages. Okay. And then please verify your age. Karen the <laughs> Oh my god. Oh Kendra. Oh Kendra, you're cracking me up. Under 18. Do. We could be the aliens, possibly. Space alien witches. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> I am 18 or older. Okay. Finish setting that up in a little bit. Oh, something I realized I forgot to do. I need pain. Only ad mentions. There we go. Don't want to spam everybody. <clears throat> Boo humans don't count. So you're saying if they're like a human from another planet, they're not an alien? Is that is that what you're saying, Thumper? Okay. Next one we're going to do full set. So we're going to set this all up with a bot, too. This is for all of the fun um, roles that people can do. This also this needs to be verified. Okay. This is going to be going to be verified to see this one. Oh, set sentient lawnmowers. <laughs> oh my gosh! 
Okay, while well, I'm creating these channels and we're kind of waiting for the next um, 15 minutes to pop up, I want to say another thing in regards to this role play that, um, that I want to take into account. And that is that I really miss spoof days. So spoof days is a, is a sort of um, thing that we did in our previous role play where we had like an event that was like not really an event, right? So we'd have an event that like, it was like all a dream, right? Like it was all a dream. And I miss them so much. But the thing is, is because they weren't really part of canon, um, they would kind of like be a derailment for certain players. So certain players would just spend their time doing the spoof day and they wouldn't spend any time in the act doing the actual like role play stuff that we wanted them to do. So this was a problem. So my goal with this role play is Marina, you took the words right out of my mouth. Um, I want to have canon spoof days. Okay. I want to have canon spoof days. That is what we're going to go for in this role play. That's another thing that I wanted to say. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the reactions. Oh, y'all are giving me such life. <clears throat> How did I set up? I think the lobby is... I set this up. <laughs> it's Black Mirror in space. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Jojo, that's you, right? A scratch in time, that's you, Jojo. Um, somebody would say, let's do a sex pollen day. Um, <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, y'all are cracking me up. Okay. I got to go get my exclamation point emojis real quick. Spoof day is just our spaceship getting filled, <laughs> getting filled with gas. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay. Another channel. Most of y'all don't know this channel exists because you're not underaged. But this is where you go if you mark underaged. Um, okay. And this is only for okay. I feel like there's something wrong with this with this lobby. Like there was something else I was supposed to do. I'm gonna double check. That was her you guessed right. Which thing? Which thing was you guessed right? The canon spoof days was. Yeah, Marina said it before I even got to say it, which cracks me the hell up. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We need... Feed me. This, I think, is a read only. Well, read, but you can't end. I think we just double check that.
Oh no, it's a verified. That's for. Hi, Karen, I was joking about the spaceship gas making all the characters high and thus spoof. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I don't see this is the thing. This is why I said, like, in regards to me answering these questions, some of y'all might not like my answers. So, um, you know, because I don't always know. Right. I mean, Landon, you know how that goes, where sometimes you'll have to look look at my ideas and say, Karen, the fuck. So I don't 100% know how a lot of this stuff is going to work, right? So that's why I'm a little hesitant for certain things, right? Okay, so we need setting. We need about. Voyage. We need... IQ the past. Oh, it's already seven thirty. I've been going at this for an hour. <clears throat> See how far we can get. Open the characters. Listen, this is obviously about me. I need to know if my extended metaphor needs to be changed in this RP. Are there birds in the RP? Do you mean like, do you mean like, are birds an animal that exists in this world? Like, is that like a type of animal that exists? Is that what you mean, Landon? Yeah, I mean, I know you're making a cast reference. I just want to make sure I understand the question. Like, I think what you're asking is, are birds like a thing that exists, you know, so can cast do a bird thing? Is that right? And you don't have to, like, spend points on that. Like, okay. Um, yes, birds are a thing. Like, y'all can do that. Oh, Sasha! Hey! Um, yeah, y'all don't have to spend points for, for that question. I understand why exactly why you're asking, Landon. Um... Yes, birds exist. So you can totally do a bird metaphor with um, with Cass. You don't have to change that. It is. Dates. Okay. Sasha, so glad you could make it. Um, we are setting up the new Discord server, and every 15 minutes, y'all get to spend your, your spell reagents to ask me a question that I have to answer. I don't get a choice if you do it that way. Y'all might not like the answers, but you get to, <laughs> I have to give you something in regards to what you asked. Oh yeah, one of their questions was, um, what, what's the best character that would fit into this new RP? And my choice was... Adra, I think, would be a really good addition to this RP. Starter calls. Wanted plots. Event sign up. Cannons need. Oh, no, not necessarily. Okay, but we are definitely going to need Art Gallery and Hall of Fame. Okay. 
Karen, I'm just going to ask an appropriate personal questions. No, they're questions about the role play. <laughs> it specifically says in the thing it's about Freya's voyage, which is the next role play that we're doing. So y'all know the name now. <clears throat> you didn't specify that. I did. I said it has to. It's about Freya's voyage. <laughs> Sorry, Sasha. <laughs> I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do next? What do we want to do next? So the channels all exist. They're not really set up. Let's um, invite some bots. Let's invite some bots. So we're going to use Zira. Let's get Zira invited. Server. Oop, I need to log out of discord.com here and log in. Where is the log out? Did I trick it? It's gonna just take me to the, into my other one. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Hang on, guys. Okay, y'all probably can't see this right now because I've got it set to looking at Discord, but I'm just fixing, just inviting some bots. Oh, is it time for questions again? Okay, what are y'all going to ask? Okay, so we're going to invite Zira. Bye. Six. Sorry that y'all can't see this. It's because I'm doing it in the browser. Bear with me for inviting inviting zero me six and um. Outtaja, however you say that, the A U T T A J A one. A6 is in there. Why didn't the other ones pop? What's happening? Zero, where are you? Try this one more time. There's zero. Okay. The prize. Okay, they're all in there now. So I'm going to give them the bot role so that they're grouped up together. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do in regards to this, I'm going to come into my Vera log here. Yeah, I know it's question time. Oh, did y'all ask one? Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm sorry. I missed it. <laughs> I see it now. What character type do you anticipate getting lots of in this role play? Okay, so this is one of, this actually touches on something that I... I'm not sure this is going to work out. This this might be the part where I'm being too ambitious. There's not a character type. 
There's not character types. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know. I am a proponent of saying you should have character types so you can have balance, but um, we're not doing it that way. We're not doing it that way in this role play. Here, and here's something, this actually touches on like another thing that I wanted to say, so I'm glad that y'all brought it up anyway. I have seen in Atlantis so much untapped creativity with you guys. So I'm gonna try something a little bit radical for character creation. I don't know if this is gonna get squashed in round one when like Naomi and Landon and Shadow and Kendra look at it. If they look at this and say, Karen, you're dumb, this is not going to work. So they might, this might not happen, but this is what I would like to have happen. And I'm really excited for you guys to see this. That's what I have to say on that right now. <laughs> oh, Thumper, don't scream too loud. <sighs> okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we are going to do, we're going to set up some stuff with... Zira. Okay, so um, somebody had asked how the how exactly the um, age verification is going to work. So Zira is mostly what I'm using for that. I can never remember exactly what the commands are, so I'm just pulling up the Zira guide on my extra monitor over here. So we're gonna do this one. So I have to get the channel ID. Oh, I don't have dev mode. Let me fix that. Where is dev mode? We need another question. Please to clarify her last answer. Y'all, there's only so much I can say about the last answer. I don't think that would be a wise uh, thing to use your question on. Okay, I'll say that. I don't think that would be a wise thing to use your question on. Because like I said, um, my idea could totally get squashed um, when everybody looks at, my, it looks at the role play and they tell me, Karen, this isn't going to work. Like, I, like the example that I gave about Magic Reborn. Uh, where is the dev thing? Where is the freaking dev settings? I think I'm going to have to Google this. Oh, da, da, da. There's like a checkbox I have to do for developer mode. Under user settings. Okay, that's where I was. Can I just not read? It's in preferences. Am I blind? Like, that means it's in here somewhere, right? Sorry, y'all. I forgot that you have to turn this on to get the IDs, which I need for the bot to work. Sorry, like, I legit cannot find this. User settings, appearance. Is it because I'm in streamer mode? I think I might have to turn off streamer mode for a second. No? Where, where is it? Appearance slash advanced. Okay, is appearance, appearance isn't on my screen right now. Like I'm not, I'm, hang on. Here.
Appearance was above streamer mode. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I guess I'm dumb, like I legit can't see it. Ha! Found it. Thank you, guys. Um... I'm going to turn streamer mode back on. Okay, now I have the buttons. Let's go back to Discord. Okay. Even the almighty RP mom makes mistakes. Y'all, I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> I make mistakes all the time. That's why I'm, like, hesitating as far as, like, some of the things that y'all are talking about potentially asking. Because it's totally possible it will change and, like, I don't know. All right. I think it's... Okay, let me go back to my Zero guide. I've got that over here. Okay. So we've got Z slash channel. Slash message. I got to get the message ID here. Okay, and then Z slash add, we do the red heart, and then we need to do under H. Okay, Z slash. We'll do the blue heart. plus okay so now you can kind of see what happens then the way this is set up is based on what you emoji you'll get one of these roles and based on these roles you'll either get chucked into the underage lobby or you'll be able to come read the rules so that's basically how that works space viking gods whoa <laughs> okay mother of mistakes doesn't ring quite have the quite the ring of mother of dragons <laughs> i mean i would definitely be more the mother of mistakes than mother of dragons but, okay guys i'm down to role play inanimate objects how about you <laughs> oh my god you see this is what i mean like this is the untapped creativity that like i am just not tapping into with the way that atlantis was set up that i really really want to tap into with you guys like there's so much there there's so much there that we could do that we are just that we're not doing you know what i mean so um so yeah that's that's what i'm really i'm really interested in okay so then i need to there's a way with um adage that i've done before where i set it up So that like when someone got that underage role, like it's stuck. I'm just taking a look at that now. I think it's this. Okay. So this is the reason why I put on adages. So when someone marks that they're under 18, they can't undo it themselves. Like they have to come and talk to me, right? Or talk to one of the mods. So I'm going to switch it over to desktop real quick so y'all can see this. Um... And it's sticky rolls. So the sticky roll is going to be underage. So once someone gets this roll, they can't undo it. Okay. And that's the purpose of that bot. All right, we can switch back to Discord then. Odin's got to have his best bitches with him. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm just reading up on all y'all's messages. Is that the only thing you use Adage for? Yeah, that's the only thing I use it for. That's all. That's the only thing. Um, for me, eh, I, I, I don't really, I don't, I don't see the need for any of the other features. Personally. Okay. So I'm just looking at each of the channels inside Atlantis to see. For descriptions and things like that. 
don't think the lobby needs one. The underage lobby definitely does. So here's what we're going to do for that. Oh, I need to test myself. Okay, so I'm going to mark that I'm 18 or older so that I can get... Well, it should show me the rules at that point, but it's not. What is happening? Edit you. I think instead of verified, this needs to be 18 plus. There we go. So then I need to go get my rules. Let's do this real quick. I'm gonna make myself an admin just so that I can paste this in and I'll undo that. Now the rules, we probably have to go through and update some of these rules. But we can at least use this as a starting point, right? I don't want to retype all this stuff. Who wants that? Not me. So where did that stop at? Stopped at warning. Okay. Let's copy this, paste that in. Let's there for activity rules. Oh, there's another question. Okay. Did we get a clue about the gods? How do we get on the topic of gods? Oh, because that was the color rolls. The color rolls are the um, are are some um, Norse gods. Landon, where's your question? Are there aliens, and if so, can we be them? Okay. Are there aliens, and if so, can we be them? I'm trying to figure out how I want to answer this question. How do I want to answer this question? Yes. 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 Is the answer. There are aliens. And yes, you can be them. What does that mean? I don't know. But yes. Okay. Let's take off admin from me. I actually want these posted as... Of these posted as um this one i'll have to fix the bolding Ugh. but that's okay we'll fix all that later doesn't matter for right now imposters <laughs> <laughs> mm. excite winnie are you going to try to are you going to join are you going to apply you're definitely welcome. We would love to have you. Um, even if you weren't in pre the previous role plays with me, like we would still, of course, love to have you in this one. Oh, I missed one. Okay. For application rules, then there's Discord rules. Me add. Go. Okay. That's the bottom one. There we go. Then we can delete this. Yes. We'll take away my admin. <laughs> we aren't a cult. Uh, I don't know. Kind of at this point, maybe we are a little bit, Landon. Oh my God. Um, 
Thank you, mods. <clears throat> Thank you for banning them, Naomi. Every time, every time we get more than seven people in here, I swear to God, like, I don't want to turn on follower-only chat, but I kind of feel like at some point I might have to, um, because those bots are getting super annoying. <clears throat> okay. So what we just did with the underage stuff, we're going to do something really similar again. So let's go and do slash channel set it to that channel and then we're going to set it to this bottom one here Gosh. message missing permission oh no why don't you have permission let's see the bots their permission I think he has to read message history too, actually. There we go. There's message. Okay. Now that should work. There we go. And then we need add. They're everywhere bad imposters. Yeah, those spammers are bad imposters. Okay, so then you get verified. So the way that I've set everything up at this point is once you do this and then you emoji the rules, then you get verified and you can see a whole all the stuff, right? And you can talk. So that's how that works. So that's like the that is like the main kind of setup that I am doing for my role plays. Okay. So I'm gonna actually add admin back to mine because there's a couple other things we're gonna paste in from Atlantis. I'm gonna paste in the um underage lobby text because there's specific text that I put in there. Okay. So once they hit the under 18, they see this, right? So then they know, oh, well, we don't allow under 18 in this role play. Shut up me six, we'll reset the levels in a second. This is going to give me an unfair advantage with this freaking me six levels. <laughs> They're on by default. I don't know if I can spoiler here. I don't know. I think you're allowed to spoil. I mean, pretty much everyone knows by now. If you missed the Destiel news, I'm so sorry. I don't know how you'd manage that. Teach me your ways. <clears throat> uh, yeah, because I, I, I did not. <laughs> I don't even watch Supernatural anymore. Um, although I do want to do a little rewatch at the beginning of it. Um, but it's, it was freaking everywhere. Holy crap. Every freaking where. Okay, we got the rules in there. Got the read me. Okay, so we need to get that. So let's go grab the read. So this is hopefully like when someone joins, it kind of helps them out with doing all the stuff they need to do to actually join. All right. So thank you for verifying. Please introduce yourself in introductions. Then head over to, I think this is supposed to be this one. Is role set. This is basically your instructions on how to use the server. Because I don't expect anyone to come in and immediately like know exactly what they're supposed to do, right? That'd just be crazy. And then here we're going to link everything that was set up under important. 
cutting about to cast seeds open. Okay. Let's actually real quick go and fix some of this me fix stuff because it's going to annoy me. So. It's 1 a.m. I don't know how I can manage to stay awake. Well, Naomi, you saw um, most of the important things. You got a lot of clues. So thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad that you did. Um, you'll be getting your, your invite soon to help me with some of that initial setup stuff and, um, and all of that good stuff, which you know that already. 2 a.m. Yeah, I cannot believe some of you guys, like some of my um, my German friends here are still freaking here. Like it's so late for you guys. Ridiculous. Okay, we're going to do a custom channel and this is going to go into, where is it? Channel chat. There we go. Okay, and then I always make it so that only um, members can get experience. So we need to make sure that anybody who's unverified cannot. And no EXP channels. Like basically the way that I set up the levels and this is just like silly, right? Like it's just for fun. You can only get levels for role playing. So any of these channels, like we haven't made the actual role play channel. So basically all of these channels are not eligible for experience. Imposter German. <laughs> um, the aliens were the real Corona all along. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are cracking me up. Now keep in mind, I have not shown you the plot yet. Like, and we won't do that tonight. Um, most of you guys, though, will see the plot very soon. So don't worry. Um, but you guys know a lot at this point. You've been able to get a lot of good information from the questions that you've asked. So good job on that. The level game. <laughs> I have to go to, even though I'm not German, schoolwork. Aw, oh, I'm so sorry. Schoolwork is sucky, mochi. Um, but you got to do it. Okay, have fun doing your schoolwork. See you later. We all do the level game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not a competition, guys, right? I have to say that because otherwise people will take it too serious. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's switch back to Discord. All right. What do we want to do next? What do we want to do? Oh, actually, let's. Let's do this. Um, the system message. I want the system message to go in the lobby. Yes. That's what I want for that, because that is a chat that everybody can see. We take it serious anyway. I know some of y'all do. Some of y'all do not listen to me. You do what you want. <laughs> Um, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. Okay. Introductions. Is there a is there a description for this? I don't think so. Yeah. Because you get told in the readme, so I think we don't need that. But we do need one. We do need the to look at the pinned on this channel. On the triggers and squicks. All right. So I have a very particular way that I handle people posting their triggers and squicks. So this is, this is why I have this message. So I'll just read it to you guys. Please use this channel to notify other members of topics you aren't comfortable, comfortable RPing. When it comes to triggers and squicks, please understand that this is there for people who are proposing plots to you to understand what you will and won't accept, and also so no one surprises you with something you're not okay with. This doesn't control what goes on in the rest of the RP. So this is key, right? 
and threads you are not a part of may contain content that's not suitable for you. Please use your best judgment on reading threads in the RP in locations that may cause certain topics you are uncomfortable or may contain certain topics where you're uncomfortable. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this, right? So you can't put in like just anything and expect the entire role play to then not do that topic. So. I shouldn't, but I'm competitive. I want to be told I'm doing well. And then if I'm winning, I must be doing well. Landon, you are doing well. Didn't you get some amazing news recently? Some like really, really amazing news recently. So I don't think anyone gets to say you're not doing well at the moment, especially you. Like you don't get to say that. Okay, let's do these other roles. How come you make a separate Discord account to post things in the server? Oh, that is a great question because then I don't have to go and edit it if things are jacked up. I can give the password to the other mods and they can fix things for me. That is why. And it's not just on Karen to do it. People can help Karen with those posts. Ah, genius. <laughs> yeah, I didn't used to do that, right? But, um, now I do. Okay. So we're going to do these. I don't, we're not going to do the color rolls quite yet because I like to do a picture for those and I'm not, once y'all see how I do these, like you, we don't need to spend time, you know, on, uh, on doing the colors. We can do just these and y'all will totally see how it works. Contact the mod. Okay. The so same as what we just did with Zira. Copy the ID. Karen's mod style has ruined me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but like a little bit, right? Because I never want y'all to feel um, like I'm your one and only outlet for role play. Like that's kind of shitty. Um, you should you can role play with whoever you want. You know, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but I understand what you mean about being spoiled by a certain style. Because now that I run my own role plays and I have for so long, I can't join other people's role plays because. I just get too freaking crazy about how I think they should do things and like wanting them to improve things in their role play. So, you know, I, I totally understand what you mean because I've tried to join other role plays and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like being a mod right now, but I just can't do it. I just can't do it. This is why I end up becoming a mod in RP servers that I join. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, maybe, you know, um, <laughs> maybe, maybe just, maybe not in, in mine. That's like all I can really offer you there, but I know exactly what you mean. Okay. So again. Okay. Look at what emojis I chose. Got a circle square and a this one. Circle. Yeah, red circle. <clears throat> One problem I've seen is people being very trivial with their triggers, such as illiteracy. Yeah, um, I, I guess the original, I can't remember the original thing that, uh, that caused us to have to make that statement. But like we would have, we would have people come in 
into the role play and like post things that they were triggered by and then say things like, oh, but y'all wouldn't role play that. And it's like, you just met us. You'd have no idea what you're talking about, my friend. <laughs> so, you know, it's not just about uh, triggers that are valid or or triggers that are like seem kind of frivolous, right? Because um, PTSD, like if we actually talk about PTSD, like it's freaking complicated, right? Like it's complicated. And so I don't think it's fair to do anything to judge individual people's and what they're triggered by, because I don't know their history, like, I don't know why. So instead of that, I think it's just easier to say, like, telling us what you're, um, what you're triggered by is just so that it's not forced on you. It's not that it's not going to exist, right? Because anybody that has any kind of um, post-traumatic stress syndrome or things like that, like, they already know that you, ha you still have to live in the world, even if something upsets you. So that is what it is. But it's one of those, it's one of those words that's gotten so watered down by the internet. So watered down by the internet that it's, it's frustrating. You know, it's frustrating. So we try to, we try to do what we can to be respectful of it while also not kowtowing to people that just don't want to be uncomfortable. Um... And that's kind of the truth in my role plays is that you kind of have to be willing to be uncomfortable sometimes. If you're not, then like the truth is like it's not going to work out. Like if you're not willing to be uncomfortable sometimes, you're not going to jive in my role plays because sometimes you're going to be uncomfortable. Like sometimes I'm uncomfortable, you know, it's just the nature of it. If you're trying to write a story then sometimes uncomfortable things are going to happen in that story and i think that it's hard to tell a good story and like never be uncomfortable because there's conflict that happens in there so that's my two cents on that and kind of why we do it that way that hasn't changed <laughs> that has not changed um since the previous videos really the main thing that has changed is the way that i do my age gating that's quite different now. Y'all saw that. Sometimes I have to remind myself that not all nuns are native English speakers. Eat. <laughs> oh, Landon. <laughs> oh, Landon, you crack me up. Okay. So at this point, like, there's a lot more, like, fiddly things that I need to do in the server. You know, there's a lot more text that I have to update and things like that, but I was able to show the main things, which is all the different roles that I have now, which works differently than how I used to do it because we're running our role plays as 18 plus only, how we do the age verification and the underage lobby, right? Because basically you do these emojis and then if you're under 18, you get popped into here and you have to talk to me if you, if you did it accidentally or something like that, right? But if you're over 18, then you get sent over to the rules and you got to read all the rules and then verify that. And then once you've done all that, then you can talk in the server. So everything that I did for the setup, that is what it is. And then the other important thing that's really different from the videos from before is the readme. So this is something that I always do now to help people understand like what is really expected of them after they do kind of the very basic like age verification and rules, right? Because at this point, once they do that, like they can see everything except for the except for like the role play itself and then like the member stuff. Right. So they can see everything other under important. Right. They can see all the lore. They can they can see a lobby so they can chat with us. All of that good stuff. Um, oh, OK. Another question. What's what's the question? After this, we'll go for another 15 minutes so y'all can do one more question. But after this, also, I'm going to switch over to doing the Pokemon meme. So we'll do we'll do one more question at the end of the Pokemon meme before we end the stream. But we're going to switch over to that after this. Um, I'm not going to do any more setup on this tonight. I, I think I've done enough to kind of show you guys what's a little bit different about the things I do now versus what I used to do in in setting up Discord servers. Does anyone have a question or am I free to... Is that your question, Kendra? 
<laughs> is that your question? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wish I could put that on a plaque. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. When he um, running a role play server is a lot like herding cats sometimes, right? So some you can't control everybody. So we do our best to cultivate a good um, a good community, and that's the best I think that we can do. Aaron, the most important question. I hope it's something I can answer if it's the most important question. I'm a little nervous. <clears throat> it's killing me too, Landon. Just all with bated breath waiting for Kendra to type. Okay. What are you what are you the most excited about doing this RP world with your characters? Okay. I am most excited about the freedom that the character creation system is going to give you guys. So I'm going to answer something that you guys have alluded to, but you haven't directly asked. And I know you want to know, so we're just going to say it. There are no, as I said, there are no like character types in this role play. Instead, you create your own type, which is called a motif. I know that doesn't tell you what motifs are, but um, that's what I'm excited about is exploring what motifs I can apply to the characters that I bring into the role play. I'm really excited to apply that mechanic to some of my characters because using symbols in my writing is something that I do a lot. So I'm really excited to expand on that and do that. So that's what I'm most excited about. Okay, so we have another 15 minutes that we're going to stream, but I am going to stop with Discord for, for now. So I'm just going to minimize that. And we are going to switch over and do some Pokemon meme. But there'll be another 15 minutes, which means you'll get to do another question, right? Karen bought the Ancestry and Culture zine. I don't know what that means, Kendra. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know what that means. Sorry. <laughs> Is that like a meme I'm not aware of? All right, we're going to do some Gen 2 Pokemon this time. We're going to do some Gen 2. Some Gen 2. All five of them we're going to do this time are Gen 2. The Steel. We can do Fortress, Steelix, or Skizor, or Skarmory. So we are going to choose for this Skarmory. Yeah, it was fun hanging out with you too. So how frequently would someone have to be active on a roleplay server like this? I'm lucky to get more than one or two nights a week to indulge in an activity. Not the question, just a question. No, it's a great question, and I will go ahead and answer it. Um, Skarmory is our choice for this, by the way. So I'm going to bring this up so you can look at Look at beautiful Skarmory while I answer this. Um, our activity is set to once a week, right? So you have to post at least once a week per character. So we, you have to post at least once a week per character. So that is how often. Our, my role plays are set up to accommodate adults, working adults, that um that have jobs and families or like they're college students that are super busy so um we try to be very reasonable with our activity expectations so we ask what motifs you would apply to sticks bagman or not yeah i'm not um i don't know if i'm bringing them i don't think that would be a good question because i've just not put enough thought in it to tell you so i, I think my answers would be on the spot and therefore probably kind of boring so um, that is what it is. So, I, I mean, I can answer it, but I just haven't put enough thought into it to tell you um, any fun answers. Okay, so Skarmory is our Gen 2 Steel Pokemon. Let's go take a look at his entries. So, the chat's unreadable on the screen. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, let me see if I can fix that. Uh this mm -hmm. make this be 
like that. Oh my gosh, this isn't going to work. <laughs> Why is it white? I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. There, now it's a little more legible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Skarmory's entries. Its sturdy wings look heavy, but they're actually hollow and light, allowing it to fly freely in the sky. After nesting in bramble bushes, the wings of its chicks grow hard from scratches by thorns. Full-time essential work with special needs kiddo here. Yeah, I mean, my role plays are set up with you in mind then. So I, I don't know necessarily if if you would be active enough, like really only you can tell tell that. But I can tell you that everything is set up with you in mind. So take with that information what you will. Okay, we're going to look at bug next. We're going to look at bug next. And we saw skis are on the previous one. So, of course, what I can say here is um is that Skizor is my pick but i also really like um spinnerack which we're going to come back to spinnerack's a fun one because it the, this guy actually won right like it won a contest and then heracross we've got on here but we've got him in the fighting one right because he's the only fighting one for this gen so we are going to go take a look at Skizor's intro here's here's what he looks like him over just a little bit more there we go okay all right since we're in the last 15 minutes if y'all have questions that um more questions that you're curious about that are not like you know the question um you're welcome to ask i will do my best to answer them it swings its eye pattern pincers up to scare its foes this makes it look like it has three hands its wings are not used for flying they are flapped at high speed to adjust its body temperature. So it's a, it's a winged bug that does not fly. That's fun, right? Paragross is the pecan thought bug. Yes, because it flips. <laughs> it flips the other Pokemon like crazy. Oh, we learned that before. Okay, so here we go. Gen 2 bug. All right. Next, we're going to look at the poison type, right? So we can look at Spinarax type because I really like him too. So here's all of our poison ones. We've got basically we've got Spinarak, Crobat, or Quillfish. I like Scyther so much better than Skis or its previous is much cooler. Um, I kind of agree with you, Cass. Honestly, like I kind of agree. You know what I mean? But Gen 2, like the truth is, Gen 2 does not have a lot of cool Pokemon. Um, that's just how it is. A lot of the cool Pokemon in Gen 2 are really like evolutions of previous Pokemon, right? And Spinarak, like normally I wouldn't even be that interested in in him, but I just think it's neat that they had like a contest for designing a Pokemon and then and somebody won, right? I mean this is the one that that won. There must have been cooler ones. I don't know why this one won in particular, but I think that it that whole concept is neat. Alright. It lies still in the same pose for days in its web, waiting for its unsuspecting prey to wander close. It spins a web using fine but durable thread. It then waits patiently for prey to be trapped. Okay, so that is the poison one. Bam. Okay, and then as I said a second ago, I really like quillfish on here too. So we are going to take a look at the water Pokemon. And there are a lot of water choices, right? I'm only really showing this now because quillfish came up right in the poison ones. And the truth is, I'll put him here, but there's only one other water Pokemon that I'm really even that attracted to, right? Like we have Kingdra, but we already put him on there, right? And he's um, and so we're not and we're not doing duplicates. And Suicune's a legendary, right? So we have Quillfish, and then um, the other one that we are gonna do is Corsola, right? So double, we're double, we're revealing both of those. So we're gonna put Quillfish here in my Gen 2 water spot, and Corsola down here in my favorite water spot, Meryl. Yeah, um, Thumper, I'm not typically attracted to the uh, the Pikachu-like ones. There's only a couple that I like, which we haven't even gotten to yet. Corsola really, okay, you know what? It's pink and it's coral. Do not come for Corsola, Thumper. It fits my aesthetic perfectly. So yes, really. 
All right, Quillfish, here we go. Let's read his entries and then we'll go read Corsola's entries. What other questions do you guys have about the, the role play that we can talk about also before this? Because otherwise I'll just do a little rambling until we hit that 15 minute bar mark. If you pick it up by your hands, you be fucked. Well, you know what? You can use a Pokeball. Oh, you asked a few. What did you ask? Mm. Oh, you asked what motifs I would use for sticks. Oh, Miss Sticks, Mr. Bagman, and Miss... Okay. Like, will motif determine magic? Oh, great question. Great question. Yes, that's exactly what that mechanic is. <laughs> Good job, Thumper. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, Quillfish's entries. To fire its poison spikes, it must inflate its body by drinking over 2.6 gallons of water at once. The small spikes covering its body develop from scales. They inject a toxin that causes fainting. So he's like, he's like basically like a puffer fish. I love that. I made it after all. Oh my gosh, Belle. Belle, I'm so sorry. You're literally here for like the last five minutes. But I'm so glad that you made it. I'm so glad that you made it. Um, the VODs will be up probably early tomorrow morning, so you can go back and watch and, and see everything that you missed um, so that you can kind of see some of those updates about what the new RP is going to be like. Oh, yeah, and Thumper will fill you in right now. Thumper, yeah, you fill, you fill Bell in while I read um, Corsola's Pokédex entry. So there's Corsola, all pink and adorable looking. And let's scroll down to its entry. It continuously sheds and grows. The tip of its head is prized as a treasure for its beauty. In a South Sea nation, the people live in communities that are built on groups of these Pokemon, right? So it's literally coral. It's literally coral. It's awesome. Okay, so this is where we are so far with the Pokemon meme. We will, of course, do more next week. Wait space. Yeah, okay, so Belle, I'm feeling bad, so here's what we're going to do. Let me minimize this. And we will go back to Discord for a second. So here's, here's basically some of the things that you can see. Um, the name of the roleplay is going to be Freya's Voyage. And here are... Let's go to the roles. Here's the color roles that we're going to have. And they asked me for three keywords on it. And it's... Um, and it was... Uh, it's. The keywords are magic, space, and chaos. Mm hmm Yeah, thinks Adra would be a good character. I do think Adra would be a good character here. Adra's very chaotic, so <laughs> I think he would fit in um, great for this role play. I'm already sold. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Um, Thumper, can you see how much longer we have on the timer for the um for the Bell reagents. Will there be a set number of motifs or will that be entirely up for us to choose? So I don't want to answer that one because that's definitely something that I am a little... Oh, what just happened? Oh, thank you so much for following, Bell. I really, really appreciate that. One minute. Okay. Um, that's something that I don't want to answer, Thumper, because that gets into the nitty gritty of the mechanic. And I do not expect what my original plan was will stay. Like, I'm pretty sure that um, it'll get modified. Like, Naomi's going to look at that and, and say, like, you're, you're forgetting about this, this, and this, and we're going to have to change it. I'm, like, pretty sure. <clears throat> 27 seconds. Okay. Oh, Landon, you're still here. Yeah, or maybe Landon will look at that and tell me, like, we have to change it. <gasps> um, is it on a stationary thing like Planet Moon Space Station, or is it on a ship? Well, uh, you saw the, the different categories for the different uh, channels, the roleplay channels that we're going to have. So what do you think? What do you think if you think about those categories that we had? I'll show them to you again. I saw the categories, but some ships be big. True, some ships do be big. <clears throat> the best I can say is the categories. Some ships be massive. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Some do. Is it a big ship? Don't know. Depends on how many locations y'all want to have. 
<laughs> like you could have the Atlantic deck in the promenade dining hall with the Skyloft with a whole big ass bubble. That's true, we could. We do need Mart Mart. Yeah, I know Vi's not here um, tonight. Um, I assume she was busy, but we absolutely need Mart Mart. Um, I'm tasking Vi with that. Uh, make Mart Mart happen in Freya's voyage. I gotta make a new song. Yeah, you'll have to make a new song that's appropriate to the setting for this particular role play. Ship, ship. <laughs> Make Mart Mart happen. Yeah, I mean, we have to, right? Like, let's be real. Everything in Atlantis, that was the best thing to come out of Atlantis. Nothing, nothing else since then has come even close. Even cosmetics for your lip lift. <laughs> okay, wait, let's read all of this. I gotta make a new song. Ship, ship, get yourself a chip, chip. Even cosmetics for your lip, lip. Buy it all at ship, ship. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna have Mart Mart. Don't worry. I, def I, I know I wanna see it, so I'm asking for it. Thank you, Thumper. This is an important contribution to the role play. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I I don't know. I don't know if I've been too ambitious here. Is the ship called Freya or will Freya be a person? Freya is the ship. Freya is the ship. Why not and? <laughs> well, you know... Um, you know how it goes, Landon, like, I will show you the very basics of what I have, like the plot and um, and the mechanics that I want to use. But as you know, like, I haven't made any locations. I won't have made any of the lore, really. Um, you know, so so we'll see. Uh, we'll see when you when you see when you see the whole plot, uh, what we want to do. Can I play a shady intergalactic drug dealer? You can. Yeah, that should be an option, I think. Um, I don't see how that would end up not being able to happen. I'll put it that way. Should be possible. What the? <laughs> wow, Thumper. <clears throat> Comes out of hibernation and caresses, caresses Lord gently. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know I'll ask for help on that, Landon, so. You have to help me out. Um, Freya's song, I mentioned it's in Spanish, but it's still very fun. Oh, thank you so much for linking the song cast. We'll have to go listen to that afterwards. All right, is the timer down now? Is it time for the last question? One more, one more question that I have to answer. Okay, it has been redeemed. Let's see. Question time. I feel like I need to sing the Jeopardy song. Do, 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 do. Okay. What plot are you most excited to see play out or hoping will be played out? Hmm. I hope someone is a stowaway. I hope someone is a sto is it plays a stowaway. Not a lot, not too many. I just want one. Just one. Yeah. Okay. That's it, guys. That's it. Um, that's the stream. Thank you so much for for joining me. Um, I I can't believe how excited you guys are. Really, truly, I am blown away <laughs> at how excited you guys are for for this. Um. Me and uh, and the people that I tend to invite to be mods if they want to are going to get to working on the server. Um, I understand based on some conversations that I've had, not all of those people uh, want to be mods this time around, which is totally fine, but we have some work to do. Once that happens, um, we should have a timeline for you guys, and that timeline is going to include getting all of the veteran players from the previous roleplay invited. 
and first dibs on their characters and, and help out building locations and all those sorts of things, you know, just like we did for Atlantis. And then once that is done and, and you know, that deadline has passed, we'll have another deadline where we start inviting additional people and then you'll have a, a period where you can create your characters before opening and then we'll actually have an opening date. So that's what's going to happen. That's the plan. Um, I hope I will see all of you there at the at the various stages. Um, all right, so closing stuff time. This was Artistic License, which is my Thursday stream that I do every Thursday starting around 6.30 till around 8.30. We also stream on Saturdays. That's interstage window at noon. Usually that is me and Landon and sometimes a guest. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel, which is all, it's all down below in the about, right? It's all down in the about. Uh, that's where I post Spare Room, which is my scripted show for role play help. And then um, I also have a Twitter, which is It's Karen Terry. Uh, that's mostly advertisement and sometimes hot takes. So if that interests you, go there. Uh, also, my Discord is linked down below. If you watched this and are interested in potentially joining the role play first, please be 18 plus. And secondly, join the Discord that is linked to this channel because I will be advertising the role play in there. So that's how you will get to know first. Okay, that's it. That's all. Oh! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for gifting a sub, Winnie. What a perfect way to end the stream. Okay, we will end it on that that note. Thank you, Winnie, and thank you everybody for, for coming, and, um, and I'll see you all on Saturday. Okay, bye!